Chapter 976, Nine Star Dohuang Clouds lingered over the mountain peak as space rippled. Wave after wave of mottled energy swiftly appeared. It surged into the body of the young man seated on the edge of the mountain peak from all directions. Faced with this endless pouring in of energy, Xiao Yan's body also appeared like a bottomless pit. It did not show any sign of being filled regardless of how the energy poured into him. Xiao Yan had already maintained this state for three days ever since he had consumed the mighty Huang pill. His body was just like an unmoving rock during these three days. Only the repeatedly rotating energy swirl above his head on the mountain peak emitted a soft howling sound. The enormous medicinal strength of the mighty Huang pill within Xiao Yan's body had already transformed into surging Dou Qi that flowed like flood water within Xiao Yan's veins. Moreover, there was an unceasing amount of natural energy surging in from nature. It was refined by the heavenly flame, transforming into pure Dou Qi that merged into this large cluster of energy. Although there was a large quantity of natural energy, the remaining pure Dou Qi, that Xiao Yan absorbed, was of a small quantity after numerous refinements. However, it was at least better than nothing. Accumulated water would eventually form a river while dripping water would eventually penetrate a rock. Such accumulation over time would reach quite a frightening level. The dochi within most of the practitioners had been acquired in this manner. Relying on medicinal pills to raise one's strength was, after all, a shortcut. It could not be used excessively or one would fail to reach a higher level due to the faster training speed. However, if one really wished to talk about it, this was the first time that Xiao Yan had used a medicinal pill to raise his strength. He had never used a Dou Spirit pill when he was in the Dou Wang class. Hence, he was not in the category of overuse. The training of Xiao Yan lasted for quite a long time. The medicinal strength of the mighty Huang pill within his body had already been completely refined a day earlier. However, he did not immediately move. Instead, he chose to continue training. This was because he had vaguely sensed that the medicinal strength of the mighty Huang pill alone would be insufficient to allow him to raise his strength by two stars. He always pursued perfection in everything he did. It was a golden opportunity this time around. Naturally, he needed to grasp it and raise his strength by the greatest possible extent. Another four days passed while Xiao Yan maintained this attitude. During these seven days, Xiao Yan had placed all his attention on absorbing the natural energy. Under this unceasing absorption, the Dou Qi that flowed within his veins had gradually surged and become forceful. Each time it circulated, it would bring about an unceasing amount of energy. Such a filled feeling caused him to possess an impulse to roar at the sky. Of course, such an impulse was naturally suppressed by him. He clearly knew that if he let out a roar, the hard work that he had put in during his training would likely be wasted. Time swiftly passed during the training. The mountain peak was still as quiet as before. Occasionally, the earth demon puppet would suddenly raise its head and throw a punch toward a spot not far from the mountain. A frightening force penetrated the air and smashed a magical beast, that had flown within a hundred meter radius of the mountain peak, into a pile of flesh. During this period of time, this mountain peak had basically become a forbidden ground within the mountain range. The magical beasts that had suffered some losses had also learned to be much more obedient. They would take a detour when passing through this place. Therefore, Xiao Yan's training progressed in an extremely stable manner. A little activity finally appeared on the morning of the eighth day. The energy swirl above Xiao Yan's head trembled a couple of times before slowly scattering. The fluctuating space around him had also gradually returned to its calm state. The energy swirl had disappeared for a short while before Xiao Yan's eyelids began to twitch gently. A moment later, they were slowly opened. The dark black eyes were ancient yet ordinary. They were so calm that they appeared to have just awoken. There was not the slightest ripple within them. The training seal was gently scattered. Xiao Yan slowly raised his head and his hand spread out in a flat manner. A thought passed through his mind and the surging Dou Qi that flowed within his veins immediately began to churn. Finally, 
it was like a horse that had lost its restraint as it fled Xiao Yan's veins and merged into his body. With the majestic Dou Qi having merged with every part of Xiao Yan's body, a sharp glow suddenly appeared in Xiao Yan's dark black eyes. His aura was also raising straight up at this moment. It swiftly broke through the seven-star level and crossed into the eight-star level. The aura did not come to a stop after breaking through to the eight-star level. Instead, it surged wildly. The clothes on Xiao Yan's body fluttered in the absence of the wind, and the stone Xiao Yan was seated on also emitted a crack sound. A couple of tiny lines appeared in the stone. The surrounding permeating fog also appeared to have been pulled apart by a pair of invisible hands. The fog rapidly swelled. A moment later, Xiao Yan finally reached the peak of the eighth star. A layer of invisible film suddenly appeared and suppressed the rising aura. Xiao Yan clenched both his hands abruptly as he sensed the faint clogging feeling. He did not stop at this point. Instead, he suddenly stood up and let out a long howl toward the sky. A clear crane-like cry instantly penetrated the clouds and resounded over the mountain range. It was a long while before it calmed down. The howl lasted for quite a long time, as though a breath was forced to its limit. Xiao Yan's face had also become flush red because of this. Green veins pulsed like earthworms on his face, giving him a ferocious appearance. Break it! Xiao Yan's hands were clenched tightly. The piece of enormous rock under his feet suddenly burst apart. Rock fragments flew in all directions as a stern cry was emitted from Xiao Yan's mouth. Crack! Somewhere, a non-existent layer was broken. The aura belonging to Xiao Yan, which had ceased rising, rose once more, breaking through the eighth star level, finally stopping on the ninth star. The aura had just broken through to the ninth star when it came to a sudden stop. Xiao Yan's body collapsed in a weary manner. His hands supported himself on the ground while he panted repeatedly with a flushed face. Although his limbs had already become weak, there was a joy that was difficult to hide within his eyes. He knew that the current him had broken through to the ninth star level with the help of the mighty Huang Pill and his own resolution. In other words, the current Xiao Yan was a nine star Dou Huang. There was only the gap of one star to the Dou Zone class. Although this one star has halted a countless number of experts, Xiao Yan had confidence in himself. This Dou Zone would not be his end. Little fellow. Not bad. You actually know how to push forward a little at such a moment, relying on your willpower to advance. The old me has not seen this for many years, Tian Huo's unje sigh was slowly emitted while Xiao Yan was panting. Old Mr. Yao has overpraised me. It is just that a break was being restrained in my heart, and I wished to spit it out. However, it is unexpected that I broke through this barrier. Xiao Yan rubbed away the cold sweat on his forehead and laughed. After the earlier weariness, he could sense a majestic Dou Qi surging through his body. That weary feeling swiftly disappeared. Regardless of how it happened, it is still not something easy to achieve, Tian Huo Zunzhe laughed. Xiao Yan beamed. He stood up from the ground and twisted his body. The bones all over began to crackle. A comfortable feeling, that came from deep within his body, traveled through his entire body, causing Xiao Yan to involuntarily let out a groan. Is this the feeling of a nine-star Dou Huang, it is indeed very strong. Xiao Yan clenched his fist and suddenly threw a punch out. The space in front of him immediately fluctuated. A sharp sonic boom was formed on his fist, which possessed an extremely great might. The strength of this force was really a couple of times stronger than a couple of days ago. After inhaling a breath of somewhat moist air, Xiao Yan turned his head. He glanced at the earth demon puppet before involuntarily smiling. Using this thing as a guard was really quite good. Now that I have consumed the mighty Huang pill, I should leave this place. After having killed Chen Yun, it is likely that the wind lightning pavilion will not take such a blow lying down. It is now not the best time to clash head on with them. I should find a city with a wormhole and leave this place to hide from them. Trying my best to break past the Dou Huang class as soon as possible is the most important thing. Xiao Yan mused for a moment. Finally, 
he waved his hand and stored the Earth Demon Puppet into his storage ring. After which crystal bone wings were expanded from behind his back. Wild wind rose with a flap of the bone wings, blowing away the fog around the mountain peak. Xiao Yan's body had transformed into a ray of light that rushed out before flying to the exit of the mountain range. The forest had finally become sparse after Xiao Yan flew through the mountain range for a couple of hours or so. The outline of a city also vaguely appeared in Xiao Yan's eyes. Xiao Yan landed not far from the city. After which, he swiftly headed to the entrance of the city. However, he hesitated for a moment upon seeing some human figures on the road. He took out a Dao Peng from his storage ring, covered his head, and finally walked toward the city. Xiao Yan's gaze paused on the entrance of the city when he was close to it. Quite a number of human figures had gathered there. He vaguely able heard some words like wanted. With a slight frown, Xiao Yan approached the city's entrance without anyone noticing. His gaze swept over the wall where the crowd had gathered and his eyes immediately solidified. A bright silver paper was on the city wall. It contained the portrait of a person on it. Surprisingly, it was that of Xiao Yan's head. Below the drawing was a silver-colored tower-shaped seal. This badge had once appeared on Chen Yun's chest. Clearly, this was a wanted poster. Its target was Xiao Yan. Many curious people were gathered in front of the wanted poster. Numerous discussions popped up. It is rumored that this little fellow killed Chen Yun of the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion. No wonder the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion has issued a wanted order. Really? This fellow looks no older than his twenties. That Chen Yun is an elite Do Zone. Chi, you have not heard about the matter in Tian Bei City the other day. The Hong clan of the Tian Bei City has been turned into a miserable state. What is the use of issuing a wanted order now? No one knows just where he has run off to. He might have already left the northern region. The Wind Lightning Pavilion has not only issued a wanted order, but the Han clan of the Tian Bei City has also been placed under house arrest by the people from the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion. They should be thinking of using them to force Xiao Yan out. However, it is not like that Xiao Yan is a fool. How could it be possible for him to fall into their trap when he clearly knows that there are three experts from the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion in Tian Bei City? Xiao Yan's body trembled violently upon hearing the last sentence. His face under the Dao Peng had suddenly turned gloomy. His tightened fist also emitted a cracking sound. Wind Lightning Pavilion A voice that contained a sinister killing intent softly seeped out of the gap between Xiao Yan's teeth. The fury and hatred within it was not the least bit hidden. Clearly, Xiao Yan had grown extremely angry at this moment. His usually expressionless self had unleashed the anger that he had suppressed within his heart. Chapter 977, A Very Dangerous Place A human figure was standing above a lush green sea of trees. His gaze looked to the northern sky and his brows were knit slightly as sunlight landed on his face. At this moment, the face of this expert suddenly revealed hesitation and regret. It was likely that this expression would cause his opponents to feel extremely shocked. This unusually merciless person could actually make such an expression. The Han clan being held under house arrest by the Wind Lightning Pavilion was indeed something that Xiao Yan had not expected. After all, regardless of how one put it, the Han clan possessed quite some weight within Tian Bei City. Moreover, they did not intervene in this matter. Unexpectedly, the bastards from the Wind Lightning Pavilion were acting in such a despicable way. The aim of the Wind Lightning Pavilion, by spreading news that the, the Han clan was held under house arrest, was something obvious, not even worth mentioning. They wanted to force Xiao Yan to reveal himself and rescue them. Xiao Yan was certain that Tian Bei City was likely already occupied by the experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion at this moment. The moment he revealed himself, it was likely that he would end up facing an extremely intense battle. Currently, Tian Bei City had already become a trap, waiting for Xiao Yan to fall into. This trap was not really hidden by the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Moreover, it was also impossible for them to hide it. Even ordinary people were aware of what it was. 
how was it possible for Xiao Yan not to realize it? If one were to really talk about it, it was impossible for the other party to completely ignore such an action unless that person was cold-hearted. This so-called trap would naturally be ineffective on people like that. However, Xiao Yan wasn't not a cold-hearted person. Towards enemies, he might have been able to be cold-hearted. However, to normal people or those that he knew, he was extremely kind and this personality of his allowed him to have quite a few friends and experts gathering around him. People like Hai Badong, Little Fairy, Queen Medusa to even the Tian Huo Zunxia all felt this. Those who were cold-hearted to even their friends would have trouble getting others to treat them genuinely. This point was part of Xiao Yan's charm. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath and sighed, the Wind Lightning Pavilion is really hateful. It wants to force me out. In that case, I will do as they wish. Little fellow, do you intend to head to Tian Bei City? That place is definitely filled with experts now. An elderly laugh sounded within Xiao Yan's heart. A great man has things that he can do and cannot do. This matter is something that was stirred by me. Given my character, it is difficult for me to just stand idly by the side, Xiao Yan softly replied. KK, these words are indeed true. The old me hates the kind of people who implicate their friends and end up acting in a timid manner. Although you are quite young, you really suit the taste of the old me. If you had not mentioned that you already have a teacher, you would not be a bad choice for a disciple. Tian Huo Zunxia laughed heartily. Mr. Yao has overpraised me. Xiao Yan smiled when he heard this. His shoulders shook and a pair of crystal bone wings slowly spread apart. He smiled and said, in that case, let's get moving. Relax, as long as the old me is around, I will guarantee that nothing will harm you as long as we do not meet an expert at the peak of the Dozone class. Tian Huo Zunxia laughed loudly. In that case, I will thank old Mr. Yao. Xiao Yan also laughed out loud. He raised his head and looked over the endless sea of lush green trees. A pride involuntarily surged in his heart, and he let out a clear roar toward the sky. The shout was like the cry of a crane that clearly reverberated unceasingly over the sea of trees. Even if your wind lightning pavilion has turned Tian Bei City into an extremely dangerous place, I, Xiao Yan, will still not be afraid. The cry slowly sounded before the bone wings on Xiao Yan's back were flapped. His body transformed into a ray of light that flashed toward Tian Bei City. The atmosphere within Tian Bei City was somewhat strange during these few days. This was because everyone knew that quite a number of experts from the Tian Bei City had hurried over upon orders. They had caused the many factions within the city to become anxious. With the strength of the Wind Lightning Pavilion, they would not possess even the slightest qualification to resist if the Wind Lightning Pavilion wanted to expel them. Fortunately, however, the thing that they were worried about did not occur. The experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion did not do anything to them. The first thing these people did upon arrival was lock up the Han clan's manor. No one could leave or enter. The entire clan was imprisoned in the manor. Although the Han clan possessed quite a great strength within Tian Bei City, they did not pose much of a threat to the Wind Lightning Pavilion. The Grand Elder of the Han clan, Han Fei, might have fought with the experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion in anger back then, but he could only give up despite feeling suffocated in his heart when the three elders from the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion attacked together. His strength could at the very most fight with a single elder. He would definitely be defeated if the three were to attack together. However, it was not as though Han Fei's resistance did not have any effect. The experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion merely sealed off the entrances and exits, and did not barge into the manor. This caused the Han clan to feel a little better. The members of the Han clan clearly understood the intentions of the actions by the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion this time around. They wanted to use this to force Xiao Yan, who was hiding in an unknown location, out. However, other than a few people, most of the members of the Han clan did not think that Xiao Yan would really show himself because of this. At this moment, there were quite a number of elite disciples from the Wind Lightning Pavilion within Tian Bei City. Most importantly, 
there were the three elders, Feng, Lei, and Diane. The strengths of these three people was a little stronger than Chen Yun. Unless it was some old demon of the Dozone class, very few people could fight with them when they joined hands. Even if Xiao Yan possessed the frightening strength to kill Chen Yun, it was likely that he would find it difficult to fight against these three renowned elders from the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion. Of course, it was not only the members of the Han clan who were making guesses. The entire Tian Bay city and some other cities, who had heard rumors, were all trying to figure out if Xiao Yan would really turn up. However, most of the people guessed that Xiao Yan would not appear. After all, from the way they saw it, not many people, who were thinking straight, would dare to charge into the dangerous grounds even if he was the young man called Xiao Yan, who had given them a great shock on the Skystone stage back then. Seven days passed by quickly while a countless number of people were engaged in discussions. Tian Bei City was as quiet as it was before these seven days. The big battle that they had imagined did not arrive. Immediately, quite a number of people became disappointed as a result. It seemed that Xiao Yan really did not dare to come. Sometimes, humans were a very strange creature. When they made uncertain guesses earlier, they thought that Xiao Yan charging in was an extremely foolish idea. Now, after having ascertained that he would not appear, they could not help but feel disappointed. They even quietly felt a little disdain. Their hearts had placed a charge of abandoning one's friends on Xiao Yan's head. A graceful pretty figure was seated on a stone chair in a small serene courtyard within the Han clan's manor. Her pretty eyes was a little absent-minded as they wandered the room. The current Han Shui was much skinnier than before. Although she still emitted a coldness, she appeared a little more moving and pitiful. Han Shui softly sighed as her pretty eyes focused for a moment. Shui Yar, you have been running here every day, a soft helpless voice sounded from behind Han Shui while she was sighing. Han Shui turned her head and discovered that it was Han Yu. Han Shui's pretty face turned slightly red. She looked at the pity on Han Yu's face when she clenched her hand and suddenly asked, Elder sister, do you think, will he come? Han Yu was startled when she heard this. Seven days had already passed by, and there had been no news of Xiao Yan. Given her understanding of Xiao Yan, he was not a heartless person. However, the few days' wait had caused the confidence in her heart to sway significantly. He should, will likely come. Han Yu finally said after hesitating for a moment. I hope that he won't come. Those three old fellows from the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion are people whom even Great Grandfather greatly fears. Although Xiao Yan is very strong, he is likely no match for the three old fellows, Han Shui's long eyelashes blinked gently as she softly spoke. Won't you be very disappointed if he really doesn't come? Won't you feel as though you have misjudged him? Han Yu raised her bright eyes and asked with a smile. Han Shui knit her brows slightly. This question really caused her to feel quite distressed. However, she still nodded her head seriously a moment later. She said, I will be a little disappointed, but I still hope that he won't come. Foolish girl, Han Yu shook her head. She rubbed Han Shui's black hair and comforted her with a smile, Relax, the prince in your heart will arrive in Tian Bei City with his beautiful bone wings, and beat the crap out of these bastards from the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion. Han Shui involuntarily smiled sweetly upon hearing this. She extended her arms and wrapped them around Han Yu's narrow waist. Her head leaned against Han Yu's shoulder and her pretty eyes contained some moisture. Using a voice that only she could hear, Han Shui softly muttered, Please do not come. Bang! Han Shui had just finished muttering to herself when a rumbling thunder suddenly resounded in the sky above Tian Bei City. Immediately, the entire city could sense a majestic aura that was not the least bit hidden rushing toward the city in an extremely quick manner. The entire Tian Bei city had descended into an uproar when this aura had just appeared. Numerous stunned gazes looked in the direction the aura originated from. A ray of light was cutting through the air in a lightning-like manner from that direction. Xiao Yan? He has really come. This fellow really does have some courage. Ha <laughs> ha. 
looks like the old me has won my bet this time around. Tianbei City, which had been quiet for a couple of days, seemed to have recovered at this instant. Numerous heated gazes looked to the sky outside of the city. They knew that Tianbei City would no longer be quiet today. Three old men on the top of three trees around the Han clan's manor instantly opened their eyes when the aura had appeared. They slowly raised their heads and looked into the distance. A cold smile appeared on their old faces. Is he finally about to arrive? Chapter 978, Nine Heavenly Lightning Prison Formation The ray of light broke through the air and arrived, appearing much like a falling star swiftly crossing the sky. Within the blink of an eye, it appeared in the sky above Tianbei City and transformed into a somewhat skinny figure. Ao. Tianbei City had gradually become much dimmer and more solemn when the figure appeared. The majestic storm under the dark clouds had transformed the place into a world of water. The storm came pouring down and landed on the buildings, emitting a clear sound as it did so. In an instant, the entire city emitted a continuous ticking sound. Although the rain had come quite suddenly, hardly anyone entered the buildings. Numerous human figures were under the storm as their somewhat heated gazes stared at the figure in the sky. Many people did not expect this young man, called Xiao Yan, to reveal himself despite clearly knowing that Tianbei City was already an extremely dangerous place. At this moment, quite a number of those who raised their heads felt a little respect. There was no need to talk about anything else. Just the courage of this fellow was sufficient to cause them to raise their thumbs. Xiu. 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 The rain curtain seemed to have connected the sky and the earth. Suddenly, a rushing sound appeared and over a dozen figures appeared on the tall buildings. Their gazes were ice cold as they stared at the human figure in the sky. A low and deep cry was emitted within the rain curtain, Who are you? Xiao Yan. The young man in the sky stood with his hands behind his back. Any raindrop that had entered a ten-foot radius of his body was instantly turned into nothingness. Looking from a distance, it seemed as though there was an invisible wall covered him. A calm voice was also slowly emitted from the sky while all this occurred. By order of the elders, kill Xiao Yan. Do it. The eyes of the green-clothed man at the front immediately turned cold upon hearing that name. Finally, he let out a stern cry. Understood. The cry had just sounded when over a dozen figures rushed over from the surrounding buildings. Their arms shook and over a dozen long silver-colored spears appeared. The spears trembled, cut through the rain curtain, and shot toward Xiao Yan while carrying a sharp wind. Seeing this, the corner of Xiao Yan's mouth was lifted into a cold smile. His hands were curled slightly and a majestic jade green flame suddenly surged out. A frighteningly high temperature vaporized the rain within a radius of hundreds of feet. The speed of the fire serpent that was created from the glazed lotus heart flame was extremely quick. With a flash, it appeared in front of those experts from the Wing Lightning Pavilion. Its hot temperature caused the members to be greatly shocked. Before they could unleash an attack, the fire serpent had approached in a lightning-like manner. Its fire tail was swung, firmly smashing everyone's chest. Immediately, numerous muffled moans could be heard as many figures fell from the sky. They landed on the ground, held their chests, and repeatedly groaned. An exclamation involuntarily sounded from within Tianbei City when everyone saw Xiao Yan randomly force back over a dozen Dou Wang class experts from the Wing Lightning Pavilion. This leisurely attitude was something that even some Dou Huangs did not possess. Xiao Yan seemed to have become much stronger after having disappeared for a couple of days. The people from the Wind Lightning Pavilion are only this great. There is no need for these unimportant people to step forward. Three elders, you should personally come and capture me if that is your intent. Xiao Yan's sharp eyes suddenly shot in the direction of the Han clan after randomly defeating over a dozen experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion. His cold cry still rumbled over the entire Tianbei city despite the heavy rain. You are the first member of the younger generation that the three of us have joined hands to capture ever since we have become the elders of the Northern Pavilion. 
a faint voice that vaguely carried a thread of rumbling thunder slowly resounded. Immediately, the rain curtain in the sky seemed to have been torn apart by an invisible hand. Three old men stepped through the empty air as they slowly walked over. Xiao Yan's eyes shrank slightly when he saw the three old men stepping through the air and heading over. The aura of these people were all a little stronger than Chen Yun. From his guess, it was likely that they were all five-star Do Zone. Moreover, based on Xiao Yan's observations of the aura of an old man with long silver-colored eyebrows, it was likely that he had reached the peak of a five-star Do Zone. Three five-star Do Zones had appeared in one go. Moreover, this was merely the strength of the Northern Pavilion. If the four pavilions were to gather, just how great would its strength be? This Wind Lightning Pavilion really did not rely on an empty reputation to become a top faction in the Central Plains. It is likely that the three of you are Feng, Lei, and Dian Elders, right? The Wind Lightning Pavilion really has a very high opinion of me, Xiao Yan slowly said. You are naturally not some ordinary person by being able to kill Chen Yun. It is not considered overboard for the three of us to appear together. The old man with silver-colored eyebrows replied. His voice faintly contained a rumbling thunder. It seemed that its very nature had caused everyone to feel extremely pressurized. That is something that he can only blame himself. No one else should be blamed, Xiao Yan faintly responded. You possess the 3000 lightning movement and killed an elder of our wind lightning northern pavilion. This offense cannot be forgiven. On account of you being a younger generation, we will allow you to return with us to the wind lightning pavilion. The pavilion head might be merciful and spare your life. An old man with numerous lightning bolts sewn on his clothes coldly cried out. If I were to head there, I might really have no means of surviving, Xiao Yan smiled as he replied. Why is there a need to waste our breath on this fellow? Let's capture him first. The pavilion head said that anyone who kills the members of our wind lightning pavilion must pay a price for it. We'll capture him cripple his dochi, and imprison him in the wind lightning tower forever. We will let others know that they should think of the consequences if they wish to touch the members of our wind lightning pavilion in the future. A dark sternness flashed in the eyes of a green-robed, old man as he spoke in a deep voice. Xiao Yan's face gradually became cold when he heard this old fellow's ruthless words. Cripple one's dochi and imprison one forever. These two punishments were all so extreme that they were frightening. Xiao Yan waved his hand and the earth demon puppet appeared. Its eyes were empty as it stood beside Xiao Yan. Its gaze was dark and cold as it focused on that green-robed, old man. Xiao Yan spoke with a cold smile, You wish to cripple my dochi? I shall see whether you have the qualifications to do so. The expressions of the three wind lightning pavilion elders changed a little the moment the earth demon puppet appeared. They nodded slightly and said, it is indeed a Dozone class puppet. Even our wind lightning pavilion does not possess such a treasure. It is unexpected that you own such a fortune. However, this is far from sufficient to protect your life. If it isn't enough, what about this? Xiao Yan's finger gently rubbed the snow-white colored ring as he slowly asked. A incomparably majestic spiritual strength once again moved along his arm and wildly surged into Xiao Yan's body in a flood-like manner as his voice sounded. With the surging of the majestic spiritual strength, Xiao Yan's aura had also began to wildly climb in front of the many shocked eyes at this instant. The majestic aura swept through the sky. Even the storm had paused as a result of this. Only when Xiao Yan's dark black eyes had transformed into an indifferent silver color did his soaring aura finally stop. Is this sufficient? Xiao Yan's silver colored eyes focused on the Feng, Lei, and Dian elders. His calm voice appeared to have sounded from deep within his soul. It is indeed as Hong Tian Xiao has described. This aura of his should be around that of the peak of a seven star Do Zong and is approaching the eight star level. Moreover, such strength is an extremely pure spiritual strength. It is likely that there is a powerful spiritual body in you. Otherwise, it is difficult for you to reach such a level by yourself. The old man with long eyebrows observed Xiao Yan intently while he spoke in a low and deep voice. Xiao Yan's eyes narrowed. 
The eyesight of this old fellow was indeed extremely sharp. He was actually able to identify the source of his strength at a glance. This old man was much more experienced compared to Chen Yun. This strength is indeed extremely strong. No wonder you were able to kill Chen Yun. However, you might not be able to walk out of Tian Bei City today. The elder with long eyebrows spoke indifferently. Hong Tian Xiao, we'll leave the puppet to you. Ha ha, Elder Lei, you can rest assured that this puppet will not intervene in your battle until this big battle is over. A human figure rushed over from a distance before finally suspending itself in the sky. This person was Hong Tian Xiao. Xiao Yan knit his brow slightly upon seeing this. This old fellow. A figure suddenly flashed and appeared from within the Han clan just after Hong Tian Xiao appeared. However, the long eyebrowed, old man's expression turned extremely chilly when this figure had appeared. He coldly said, Han Fei, if you dare to intervene in the battle today, the old me will guarantee that your Han clan will be destroyed. The figure suddenly paused when it heard this cry filled with a dark chill. Han Fei tightened his fists and revealed a struggling expression. Old Mr. Han, this is a matter between the Wind Lightning Pavilion and me. You should not intervene, Xiao Yan's faint laughter was slowly transmitted over while Han Fei was struggling. Brother Xiao Yan, it is really a joyous matter for the Han clan to befriend you. Han Fei inhaled a deep breath of air. He raised his head, and bowed to Xiao Yan in an unusually solemn manner before sweeping his gaze toward the three elders from the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion. He was filled with fury as he turned around and landed in the Han clan's home. All members of the Wind Lightning Pavilion Northern Pavilion, listen up. Form the Heaven Lightning Prison Formation. The long-eyebrowed, old man's expression gradually turned frosty after forcing Han Fei back. His cold voice resounded over the entire city. Yes sir. The cry had just sounded when numerous respectful voices were immediately emitted from all over Tian Bei City. Qi Law sounds quickly rang out and numerous lightning figures formed an eight-corner shape, coincidentally surrounding Xiao Yan's location. The lightning glow flickered and suddenly transformed into a thunderbolt that blasted toward the sky, charging into the thick, dark clouds. An instant later, a glaring silver glow scattered down. Countless numbers of thunderbolts descended from the sky in a dense manner. They appeared just like a prison wrapping the entire area within a thousand feet around Xiao Yan. Regardless of your origin, surrendering is your only option. A bright lightning slowly surged out of the bodies of the three elders. Immediately, they transformed into an enormous lightning pillar that shot toward the clouds. Immediately, the surrounding dense lightning glow had become many times denser. Other than this, you will only die. The chilly cry was filled with a killing aura under the backdrop of the thunderbolt, causing one's heart to tremble. Chapter 979, Thunder God's Fury Thunderbolts came pouring down from all around one after another. The silver-colored lightning seemed to be swimming around like small white-colored snakes. All of them repeatedly emitted glaring glows. These lightning bolts contained an enormous amount of strength that existed in a fashion visible to the naked eye. The world could easily break amid the flashing lightning and thunderous roars. Bang, 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 bang. The thunder came without stopping. A moment later, Xiao Yan slowly raised his head and looked at the thick, dark clouds, which had almost been dyed silver. An extremely frightening energy was gathered inside it. It appeared that this wind lightning northern pavilion had really taken out a great capital in order to capture him. They had even used such a great formation. Using the Han clan as hostages and forcing you out is indeed something that is not the style of our Wind Lightning Pavilion. The matter today might end up causing us to be criticized. Hence, it will also be the last time. However, we must capture you. We will not allow the 3000 Lightning Movement to be used by an outsider. Regardless of who wins today, the Han clan is no longer related to this matter. The old man with long eyebrows stared intently at Xiao Yan. His voice was just like rumbling thunder as it was emitted from the thunderbolt curtain, reverberating all over Tian Bei City. 
They had also suffered a lot of pressure while holding the Han clan under house arrest during these few days. By saying these words now, they accounted to the people from Tianbei City and the Han clan. Of course, his most important aim was to restore a little of the negative image that had been formed during these few days. After all, the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion was merely one of the Wind Lightning Pavilions. If they ended up ruining the reputation of the Wind Lightning Pavilion as a result of this, they would also not be able to escape the responsibility of doing so. Xiao Yan calmly watched the three old men. One could not see any emotion in his silvery eyes as he said, just attack. I, Xiao Yan, will definitely not do something as foolish as surrendering and allowing myself to be captured. If you wish to capture me, you will need to show some genuine ability. Xiao Yan pointed his finger at the three elders upon saying these words. The earth demon puppet beside him also emitted a glow in its empty hole like eyes. Its feet stomped on the empty air as it transformed into a silver-colored figure that rushed forward. He he, Xiao Yan, your opponent is Elder Lei and the others. Allow the old me to deal with this puppet. The earth demon puppet had just rushed out when a crack line suddenly appeared in the thunderbolt curtain. Hong Tian Xia rushed in while laughing loudly. He immediately blocked the earth demon puppet. Kill him. Xiao Yan's silver-colored eyes swept over Hong Tian Xiao in an indifferent manner as he softly uttered. The body of the earth demon puppet suddenly emitted a silver glow when these words left Xiao Yan's mouth. Its palm wind also became extremely sharp. Each punch carried a deep sonic boom as they violently smashed toward Hong Tian Xiao. Seeing that the earth demon puppet had suddenly shown its might, Hong Tian Xiao did not dare to underestimate it even a little. He clearly knew that the strength of this puppet was extremely frightening. If he was careless, it was not impossible for him to be killed by it. However, it was fortunate that his task was merely to hold it back and not to defeat it. Majestic fiery red Dou Qi surged out of Hong Tian Xiao's body. He drew two ten-foot-long scimitars that violently danced. Finally, they collided with the earth demon puppet. An intense big battle immediately erupted. The lightning glow flickering on the long-eyebrowed, old man's body became increasingly dense upon seeing Hong Tian Xiao successfully block the earth demon puppet. He stared at Xiao Yan as he said in a deep voice, This nine heavenly lightning prison formation is a great formation of my wind lightning northern pavilion. It is formed by 23 expert Dohuangs and 46 expert Dohuangs. Moreover, the three of us will act as the center of the formation. If you are able to break through it today, your name Xiao Yan will be able to shake the entire northern region of the Central Plains. Xiao Yan's expression did not change because of these words. He slowly raised his hand and rotated it slightly. An enormous spiritual swirling cannonball was formed. Immediately, it emitted a bang and shot out explosively. A distorted path also appeared in the empty space along the way. Faced with Xiao Yan's attack, the long-eyebrowed elder did not dare to slight it. The seal on his hand changed and the thunder clouds churned in the sky. Immediately, a loud noise sounded and a ten-foot-large thunderbolt landed with a bang, appearing like a furious dragon. It ruthlessly smashed the swirling spiritual cannonball. Boom! 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 The two fierce attacks were slowly annihilated. A powerful energy wave spread in a swift and ferocious manner. However, it ended up scattering when it reached a distance of a hundred feet around both Xiao Yan and the long-eyebrowed elder. Xiao Yan's gaze slowly swept over the three elders. There was a lightning light pillar on their heads that shot into the thunder clouds. Among the three of them, only the long-eyebrowed elder directed the attacks. The remaining two seemed to be pouring all the dou qi within their bodies into this thunder clouds. This great formation is indeed somewhat profound. Heaven Lightning Skill The face of the long-eyebrowed elder was cold and stern while the seals on his hands swiftly changed. The lightning clouds randomly churned in the sky. An instant later, his finger suddenly pointed at Xiao Yan. Qi. 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 The thunder clouds churned as a countless number of enormous serpent-like thunderbolts shot out of it. Finally, 
they struck at Xiao Yan from all directions. Their mighty aura caused one's heart to feel afraid. Xiao Yan's feet gently stomped down as a jade green flame surged from his body. It immediately permeated the space hundreds of feet around him. The flame fiercely rose and agglomerated into an enormous fire wolf that howled at the sky. It widened its enormous mouth and a suction force surged out. The thunderbolts that shot over were swallowed by it. After the thunderbolt was completely swallowed by the fire wolf, wave after wave of muffled thunder began to be emitted from the enormous body of the fire wolf. Its body had also become a little paler. However, it ultimately refined those thunderbolts. Go! Xiao Yan flicked his finger. A fierce expression immediately surged into the eyes of the fire wolf as it opened its stride and leaped into the sky, charging toward the long eyebrowed elder and the others as it did so. Before the fire wolf arrived, its high temperature caused the expressions of the three elders to change. Their faces were solemn as they exclaimed, Heavenly Flame! Heaven Lightning Slash! A stern cry sounded and a bright silver glow suddenly flashed across the sky. Immediately, the charging fire wolf paused. A moment later, it slowly split apart, gradually turning illusionary amid a chi law sound. During these short ten plus minutes, the attacks of both parties were extremely dangerous despite their seemingly calm nature. Regardless of whether it was an attack by lightning or fire, as long as someone was struck by any one of them, it was likely that they would not end up well. Such an intense battle was one that even an ordinary dozone would be afraid of joining. Xiao Yan, don't drag things out with them. They have the support of the Great Formation and will be able to continuously use lightning attacks. My spiritual strength cannot remain for too long in your body. Therefore, you should hurry up and settle this. Tian Huo Zunzhe's reminder suddenly sounded within Xiao Yan's heart. Xiao Yan nodded slightly upon hearing this. He inhaled a deep breath of air and his finger gently pressed on the fire seal on his head. It formed a hook and a dense white-colored flame swiftly came out from it. Xiao Yan grabbed the bone-chilling flame the moment it appeared. The jade-green flame split apart, transforming into the fallen heart flame and the green lotus core flame. Three types of heavenly flames were suspended in front of Xiao Yan. Finally, the three kinds of flames suddenly started to merge when his hand was clenched. Immediately, a frighteningly wild and violent force spread out. Three types of heavenly flame. How is this possible? The three elders, who had not shown emotional fluctuations earlier, changed their expressions when they saw the three types of heavenly flames in front of Xiao Yan. All of them involuntarily let out a cry of disbelief. The expression of the long eyebrowed, old man also became much gloomier after his startled cry sounded. His gaze was exchanged with the other two. They grit their teeth and the seal on their hands began to change. Following the rapid change in their hand seals, the lightning pillar that was emitted from their heads became stronger. After receiving such a great amount of lightning dochi, the lightning cloud in the sky appeared like a creeping ancient fierce beast. It emitted waves of low and deep rumbling sounds that caused one's head to feel numb. A similarly wild and violent energy was swiftly formed at the same time. When the wild and violent energy was formed, the faces of the three elders gradually became pale. Three types of heavenly flames were merging in Xiao Yan's hand. While they were merging, threads of destructive strength quietly seeped out. This caused the spatial strength around Xiao Yan to form some thread-like dark black cracks. Cracks had suddenly appeared in the air at this moment. With this current condition of Xiao Yan, it was not difficult for him to merge the three types of heavenly flames. Hence, a basin-sized three-colored fire lotus slowly appeared on his palm a short couple of minutes later. The three-colored fire lotus rotated slowly. Each time it did so, some dark black lines appeared in the surrounding space. Xiao Yan, throw this good thing toward that thundercloud. That is the center of the formation. As long as that place is broken, these three elders will be seriously injured. Even those people forming the formation outside will suffer a backlash. Tian Huo Zunzhe's voice sounded within Xiao Yan's heart the moment the fire lotus was formed. Xiao Yan's hand moved upon hearing this. 
the three-colored fire lotus in his hand rotated and flew out. Its target was the churning thunder cloud in the sky. The expressions of the long-eyebrowed elder and the two others changed again when they saw what Xiao Yan did. They immediately bit their tongues. Three mouthfuls of essence blood were spat out as they cried out furiously, Nine Heavenly Lightning Prison, Thunder God's Fury. Bang, 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 bang. After the cry of the three people sounded, a soul-stirring explosion was immediately emitted from the thundercloud. The churning speed also came to a slow stop. Immediately, bright silver glows shot out and an enormous lightning fist, a couple of hundred feet in size, broke through the thundercloud. It then came crushing down. Sharp sonic booms from all over the sky basically appeared one after another as the fist appeared. Continuous crackling sounds appeared as well. Even the street on the ground had suddenly cracked apart, revealing an enormous fist imprint. The enormous lightning fist carried a frightening strength as it came smashing down. That momentum was basically one that aimed to completely destroy everything in front of it. However, a three-colored light was advancing under the cover of the frightening fist without facing any resistance. Although its size was small, the destructive strength that seeped out of it brought forth spatial crack lines while it progressed. Chapter 980, Fire Lotus Might Bright glaring light energy appeared like a sun, which suddenly appeared in the sky. The intensity of the light had basically caused this weather, which had become a little dim because of the thunderclouds to become extremely bright. The strength of such a glow had far exceeded the fiery hot sun in the distant sky. Just what kind of intense glow was this? It was likely that no one in this world had seen such an intense light. A person's eyes would likely only see a complete whiteness. This place seemed completely empty, causing everyone's hearts to be startled. The loud rumbling thunder appeared just like the roar of a thunder god that reverberated over the sky. However, the expected soul-stirring explosion did not appear. The spot where the three-colored lotus made contact with the enormous lightning fist had numerous spatial folds that were visible to the naked eye. The two extremely frightening energies were quietly eroding each other. Along with the erosion of the two frightening energies, a half-foot-wide black hole slowly appeared. The space where the two energies collided could not endure the other's presence and ended up forming some spatial cracks. The spatial black hole gradually widened. It spread until it was around a hundred feet in size in front of the countless number of shocked eyes. The enormous lightning fist and the three-colored fire lotus had begun to fluctuate following the growth of the spatial black hole. Numerous thunderbolt-like silver snakes followed the enormous fist as they wildly poured down. They were violently channeled toward the fire lotus. In the face of the enormous lightning fist's wild and violent attack, the three-colored fire lotus became unusually calm. It rotated slowly and numerous fire seedlings, that vaguely carried three colors were emitted, blocking all of those silver bolts of lightning that came pouring down. Although the battle between the two was completely silent and an overly soul-stirring explosion did not occur, anyone with some eyesight could tell that such an exchange was even more frightening and dangerous. Within a hundred feet radius of this exchange, everyone, including Xiao Yan and the three Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion elders would likely end up in a miserable state. The space around that location had already been covered by wave after wave of extremely wild, frighteningly violent energy. The fire lotus slowly rotated. Following each of its rotations, the enormous lightning fist vaguely became a little dimmer. At the same time, the expressions of the three elders also became even paler. The destructive strength within the fire lotus caused them to possess a fear that unfurled from deep within their souls. Crack. The rotating speed of the three-colored fire lotus suddenly became much faster in front of an innumerable number of gazes. Following the increase in its speed, the rate at which the enormous lightning fist became dimmer increased. In the end, the fist suddenly trembled and numerous crack lines slowly spread out in front of the shocked eyes of the three elders. Eventually, it emitted a crack sound and collapsed into a countless number of silver-colored light spots. Under the might of the Great Formation, the Three Elders' all-out attack was unable to block the frightening three-colored fire lotus. If Xiao Yan had relied on his own strength to create this three-colored fire lotus, 
it was naturally extremely difficult for him to achieve this effect. However, the current Xiao Yan had borrowed the strength of Tian Huo's Unjet. Thus, his strength had already reached a frightening level. The strength of the three colored fire lotus, that he had currently displayed, was naturally extremely frightening. After all, the Angry Buddha Lotus Flame was a powerful Dou technique where its strength would accompany an increase in Xiao Yan's strength. As long as Xiao Yan's strength continued to rise, the power of the Angry Buddha Lotus Flame would also become more and more terrifying. Grug. The enormous lightning fist collapsed and the three elders ended up spitting out a mouthful of fresh blood. The shock in their eyes became even denser. It was unexpected that even with the combined strength of the three of them along with the help of the Nine Heavenly Lightning Prison Formation, they were unable to defeat Xiao Yan's frightening fire lotus attack. The color of the three colored fire lotus had become much dimmer as the enormous lightning fist collapsed. However, it was fortunate that it had not simply scattered as a result. It paused for an instant before it emitted a Xiu sound. It then transformed into a ray of light that charged toward the thunderclouds in the sky. Seeing this, the long-eyebrowed elder immediately quivered. He hurriedly changed his hand seal and a couple of enormous lightning pillars immediately shot out from the thunderclouds. Their target was the fire lotus. Bang! The lightning pillars ruthlessly attacked the fire lotus, but they did not cause it to pause even a little as three colored fire seedlings rose out. These fire seedlings might appear to be the size of a finger, but they instantly vaporized the lightning pillars into nothingness upon contact. This scene caused everyone to tremble in fear. The lightning pillars did not stop the attack of the fire lotus. While the fire seedling rose, the light ray that was formed by the fire lotus charged into the thunder clouds. Heaven Hall, Scatter Formation the eyes of the long-eyebrowed elder immediately shrank to the size of a pinhole upon seeing the fire lotus barging into the thunder cloud. A horrified loud cry rumbled. However, before the wind lightning northern pavilion's experts at the exterior of the formation could recover from his cry, the interior of the thunder cloud emitted a soul-stirring explosion that resounded over the place. Immediately, an enormous fire wave surged out in an untamed floodwater-like manner. The thunder cloud endured for an instant in the face of the attack from the enormous fire wave before it burst apart, transforming into clusters of tiny electric glows as it did so. The thunder cloud was created by the experts from the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion and the Three Elders. Hence, they were naturally implicated now that it had been destroyed. The thunderbolt curtain that had spread all over the place immediately disappeared. Numerous grug sounds of blood being spat out repeatedly resounded over Tian Bay City. Some of the people standing on the buildings fell down head first. The people within Tian Bay City involuntarily wiped off their cold sweat when they heard the sound of blood being vomited from all directions. That majestic storm had also been vaporized by the fire wave in the sky. The stormy weather from earlier had turned into one with clear skies that stretched for thousands of kilometers. Even the joint effort of the three elders from the Wind Lightning Pavilion and the use of the Nine Heavenly Lightning Prison Formation cannot trap him, this Xiao Yan is really too terrifying. After fighting the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion's three elders and the many experts by himself, it is likely that Xiao Yan's name will spread over the entire northern region within a short couple of days. Haha, <laughs> it is really joyous. I have not wasted a trip this time around. This big battle is the most intense one that I have seen in my life. It is likely that Xiao Yan could hardly find an opponent among the younger generation. It is rumored that the Wind Lightning Pavilion has a certain Feng Xiaoji. Her training talent is considered extremely outstanding and is the choice as the next Eastern Pavilion head. I wonder if she will be able to fight against Xiao Yan. The bodies of the long-eyebrowed elder and the two others in the sky stilled momentarily while the entire city emitted numerous private conversations. Their faces had finally turned pale white while their breathing had become sluggish. The forceful scattering of the thunder cloud was very harmful to them. Retreat. The hand of the long-eyebrowed old man trembled slightly. A moment later, he finally clenched his teeth and softly spoke a word. Since you have forced me out. You cannot expect me to simply leave empty-handed after exhausting a great amount of strength to engage in a big fight with you. 
Xiao Yan faintly smiled. His eyes congelated and a majestic spiritual strength immediately surged out in all directions. Immediately, it penetrated space and violently pressed on the three elders whose auras were sluggish. Grug. The three elders' bodies were already weary. Upon suffering such a heavy blow, a mouthful of fresh blood was immediately spat out of their mouths. Their bodies flew back like cannonballs. When they were forced back, the rings they wore on their fingers slipped off. After which, these rings were grabbed by Xiao Yan's spiritual strength before flying back to him. Elder Feng immediately became furious upon seeing that their storage rings had been stolen. He was just about to cry out furiously when the gloomy long-eyebrowed elder stopped him. Let's leave first. With a stern cry, the long-eyebrowed elder and the other two unleashed their remaining dochi. Lightning glows surged and the three of them turned into three rays of light that rushed out of Tian Bei City in a lightning-like manner. After which, they disappeared into the horizon. Xiao Yan beckoned with his hand after seeing the three elders fleeing into the distance. He held the three storage rings in his hand. It was not that he did not intend to kill all of them, but these three stuck together like chewing gum. If he were to really force them until that stage, it was likely that Xiao Yan would lose more than he gained. He was able to defeat the three of them, but killing them would require him to pay quite a terrible price. Xiao Yan glanced at the storage rings. His finger rubbed over them. Borrowing Tian Huo's Unzhe majestic spiritual strength, he was able to easily remove the spiritual imprints on them. Xiao Yan's spirit swiftly invaded the rings after having removed the imprint. After a search, three bright silver-colored scrolls flashed and appeared in his hand. They were indeed with these three old fellows. These three silver-colored scrolls were similar to the one he had obtained from Chen Yun. Even the blood veins on its surface were exactly the same. Clearly, these three scrolls should be part of the 3000 Lightning Illusionary Body. However, he did not know whether he would be able to obtain a complete version of them after including the scroll already in his hands. Xiao Yan could not help but feel a little anxious after thinking until this point. Of course, he would naturally not test it in this kind of situation. He flipped his hand and stored the three scrolls into his storage ring. Immediately, his dark eyes slowly turned to Hong Tian Xiao, who was still entangled with the Earth Demon Puppet. The killing intent within Xiao Yan's heart was even more intense when it came to this old man. He knew that the news of Chen Yun dying to his hands had been spread by this fellow. The information that the people from the Wind Lightning Pavilion had on him should have also been revealed by this old man. It might not be possible to kill the three elders today, but this Hong Tian Xiao needed to die. Hong Tian Xiao, who was fighting with the Earth Demon Puppet in the distance, had naturally also sensed that the three elders had fled after being defeated. His expression immediately became extremely ugly. These three old bastards! Hong Tian Xiao roared furiously within his heart. He had just forced back the Earth Demon Puppet when he sensed a pair of ice-cold eyes, that contained a killing intent, being shot over from a distance. Hong Tian Xiao's expression instantly became much paler after sensing the density of the killing intent within those eyes. His mouth was filled with bitterness. At this moment, he had finally understood just what kind of frightening existence he had offended this time around. 